How do I copy? I would just write S2 is equal to S1. So whatever the content that I have, a simple program that I have here to show you how exactly the string function that I have. So the first thing you all know that. So STR CPU and this is string copy. So whatever I have in the STR1, so that is what I'm copying into the. So this is one of the pre preprocessor directory that we have. Suppose if I want to use any of the functions which is related to the strings, STR in the sense what you will understand string, CAT in the sense cat is it? Yes, you have to understand that as a cat. Cat in the sense concatenate. Hello everyone, I welcome all of you to the next important and interesting session on array strings and functions. What exactly that I have in this session, my dear students, before discussing that to all of you, I recommend all of you to click on the bell button below if you have not subscribed to the channel yet because you will miss out with a lot of important notifications on important sessions. So fine, by saying this, myself uh, Kaushik is from the Department of Computer Science with the Ashram First Grade College. My dear students, what is that I have in this session? So before I discuss that to all of you, let me give you uh, the small recap. What is that we have discussed in the last session? So we have discussed what exactly the string is all about. What is strings? So this is what we have discussed, right? So strings in the sense what it is a group of characters okay which is enclosed between the quotes that's what i will call it as a strings so fine the first thing is what we have understood that is what is strings so we understood that what is the next thing that we discussed how do we declare a string so please remember we have to write the data type so let me write the data type as char you all know that and the name of the array that is a and i have to mention the size i have to mention the size so this is how I declare. So I have two methods to initialize the value after declaring a array. So you all know that the first method is with a flare bracket. The first method with a flare bracket. And the second method, I will be enclosing the strings with the double quotes like this. So this is the two methods that I will be using to initialize the values to the array of strings. That's what you need to remember. So fine, we, and we understood this. What else we discussed? So how do you read the values from the user? So what exactly the modifications that you have to do in the scanf is what I wanted to tell you now. So please remember whenever you are using the scanf. So guys, you guys should never forget that is percentage. Yes. All right. Percentage. Yes. And if my array name is yay, I'll be just writing like this. That's what you need to remember. So fine. This is how I... Uh, read the value from the user in the same way. I just use a percentage same thing in the even the printf to print the content what I have We understood printf. We understood scanf. We understood what is string We have understood how do I initialize the value to the string and also we have discussed what is get cat and put cat So this is what we have discussed in our previous session. So fine What is that I have then now in this session? So guys, just take a look quickly. I will be explaining how do I copy the string. All right, that's one of the thing. And then string operations using, all right. So that's what I will be discussing. What exactly is that? I'll show you string operations using library functions. That's very important. I will be discussing that. And followed by, I will be discussing some string handling functions. So this is what I will be discussing in this session with all of you. So I want all of you to take the notepad next to you so take the notepad next to you let's start the session copying a string how do i copy it's very simple guys imagine i have s1 okay so s1 is equal to high s1 is equal to high so i have uh, i have created one more variable that is s2 how do i copy i would just write s2 is equal to s1 so whatever the content that i have so this s1 will copy to s2 this is how i will be copying but make sure so even this s2 is of same type of s1 that's what you need to remember here i will be showing you some of the easy methods to copy the string okay so before that it's very important that i need to understand something called library functions what exactly library function is all about there are some of the predefined functions which i have stored which i have defined and which i have stored 
in some place okay that is what i will call it as a library function so what exactly is that so say for example i need to copy for that i need to write my own code i need to calculate the length of the string i need to write my own code i need to add two strings i need to write my own code so it is very very difficult for me to write again and again so for all these things so to solve this problem what they have done is they have written the code and they have saved as a functions that functions we call it as a predefined functions so it is already predefined and they have stored it in one place that they call it as a library so guys i'm here to talk about the predefined functions that we have stored in the library called string.h so this is one of the pre preserved directory that we have so suppose if i want to use any of the functions which is related to the strings i have to import this in my program so how i import hash include scdio.h hash include conio.h even in the same way if i am using any of the string predefined functions i have to never forget to include this header files in my program that's what you need to remember hash include string.h please make a note of it so fine i have uh, included this in my program what is the different functions you are, you have been saying that you no know, we have predefined functions predefined functions sir show us some predefined functions that we have with respect to strings this is going to be very very important for all of you with respect to your exam point of view so please make a note of all these functions so what is that i have first let's discuss one by one so you i have already told you if i come across with this kind of parenthesis what you should think it's a function right so please observe here so can i call this as a function yes you can call this as a function so what exactly this function is doing the first function so what is that i have str here str in the sense you have to understand that that is a string okay so what is this cpy cpy in the sense copy i have the predefined function called str cpy that is string copy so please understand so what exactly it is doing so inside this i'm passing two parameters one is s1 comma s2 what exactly it is doing so what is s1 here what is s2 let's understand copying a string s2 this is whatever the content that i have in this content that is getting copied to s1 that's what i'm doing here i don't have to do anything else this just one single line will help me to copy the content from one string to another string so that's what you need to understand so guys so this will help me to copy the content so fine what is the next one that i have str in the sense what you will understand string cat in the sense cat is it yes you have to understand that as a cat so cat in the sense concatenation i repeat concatenation concatenation in the sense what see again i have two parameters the number of parameters matters a lot here okay so please be very careful how many parameters i have i have yes one comma yes two imagine yes one is equal to hi all right so within double quotes s2 is equal to hello all right so within double quotes again so what exactly my output will be after this string cat so my output will be hi hello all right this is this is what my output once i perform this string cat that's what you need to understand concatenation in the sense adding two strings adding the two strings is what i will call it as a concatenation so that's what you need to remember and moving forward to the next function that i have string length okay if i want to find out the length of the string if i want to find out the length of the string i have to use len that is str len function so if for example what is that i have given here so i have given so yes one so i'm i need to find out the length of the yes one i need to find out the length of the yes one string one that's what you need to remember here so guys so this function returns the length of the string so fine i understood that length of the string whenever i say length of the string you need to understand one thing so most of you will get confused say for example what is the if i ask what is the length of this string mys what is the length of this string most of you will say like you know 0 1 2 so 2 most of you will say sir it is 3 length of the string is 3 
which one is correct so this one or this one so this one is correct because I'm calculating the length length is different index is different so please don't get confused at this point of time that's what you need to understand so fine you understood the length of the string now I need to compare two different strings I need to compare two different strings. how do I compare how exactly it is comparing my string that's what you need to understand what is the function first of all point number one say for example madam is equal to ma'am okay I need to compare this is it is it equals to this say for example I have stored this let me just write like this okay s1 is equal to is equal to s2 all right so I have stored this in the s1 okay let me just rewrite it for all of you okay uh, yes okay I have s2 let me write it s2 is equal to ma'am I need to check is my both the strings are equal or not my dear students how do I check so what does that have to do I have the function called string compare I have the function called string compare that's what you need to remember so guys string compare is a function which compares each and every character with respect to the ascii values that's what you need to understand so it checks the ascii values of each and every character it compares the ascii values so how exactly the result will be there so fine suppose it returns zero if it returns zero both s1 and s2 are same if it returns zero s1 and s2 are same both are equal suppose if my result is less than zero so then what happens it is s1 is less than s2 that's what you need to understand suppose if my s1 is less than s2 my result will be what it will be less than zero is what you need to understand suppose if my result is greater than zero so then s1 is greater than s2 that's what you need to understand let me repeat this one more time listen to me carefully suppose if both the strings are equal my result will be what it will be zero so fine we understood suppose my given string so in that s1 is less than s2 at that time you will get the negative value suppose if the s1 is greater than s2 then you will get the positive value that is greater than zero that's what you need to understand whenever you are comparing the string so fine the next function that i have is str chr what exactly we are doing here so please listen to me carefully and observe the parameters that i have in this function so what is the different parameter that i have so i have s1 that is a string that i'm passing and one more character i'm passing so what is that so please listen to me it returns to a pointer to the first occurrence of that character ch in the string whatever the character that you have passed as a parameter where exactly in the first occurrence it present that's what you need to understand say for example say i have uh, kaushik is a string okay let me just uh, show you like this yes is equal to kaushik so fine so let me make it as yes one that is yes one so ch in the sense i have uh, taken ch as a k okay so where exactly in the first occurrence k is present so there the pointer occurs so here is my k so that's what you need to understand that is done by the function called chr that is strchr so please remember that so fine moving on to the next one str str what is this str str sir listen to me carefully so how many parameters i have s1 comma s2 two parameters i'm passing so s1 comma s2 two strings i'm passing so returns a pointer to the first occurrence of the string s2 in s1 what is that it returns a pointer to the s2 please observe s2 the first occurrence of s2 in s1 that's what you need to understand the first occurrence of s2 in s1 say for example i have the line so imagine let me write it okay imagine i have uh, the string okay one line complete line i have all right so this complete line i will name it as s1 okay and i have one more string that is s2 so s2 is uh, high 
Okay, imagine I have high. So I need to identify where exactly this high is present in the string first occurrence. I can have this high n number of times in the string, but where exactly the first occurrence is present in this S1. So that, that is what I need to find out. So that I can do it with the help of this function. That's what you need to understand. So fine, this is the predefined functions that I have. So guys, a simple program that I have here to show you how exactly the string function that I have. So the first thing you all know that, all right. So what is the header files that we have? So if I am using this function, so please observe, I'm using this function. So what is that I told you in the beginning? So it is very important. Most of you will make a mistake in this. So did I include the hash include string dot h? No, it's very important to include the hash include string dot h. That's why I have not purposefully included it here. So you, you will miss out that. So please take a little care on that. It's very important. Whenever you are using the predefined functions, I repeat, whenever you are using your predefined functions of string, it is very important that you have to include the hash include string dot h. So fine, let me include that. All right, so imagine I've written hash include, all right, the string dot h. So fine, I've included that. Then after that, what is the first line that I have? So you all know that your program execution starts from the main function. So fine. So what is the next thing that you have? You're trying to create the array of type character. So what is the array name? The array name is str1. So fine. What is that you're trying to store? Hello. In the second uh, line. So what is that you're trying to do here? You have the data type as char and the array name is str2. What is the size? 12. So this array is of type character. So fine. What is that you're trying to store? Hello world. And the one more array you're trying to create of type char, but you're not storing anything. So fine. So let's understand that. And then one more variable I have. So that variable is of type int. That variable is of type int. That's what you need to remember here. So fine. What exactly the program is all about. So I have the, please observe, I have strcpy what exactly strcpy is all about so strcpy in the sense string copy so whatever i have in the str1 so that is what i'm copying it to the string 3 that is str3 so whatever i have hello so i'm copying that to the s3 that's what you need to remember so fine after that i'm trying to print that so how am i, how am I trying to print so whatever i'm giving that in the double coach so this will be printed as it is. You don't have to worry about it. Even if you just give high, so it will print high. So I'm just printing all these things. Whatever you have given it as in within the double coach, it will print as it is except escape characters. So fine. What is that you're trying to print here? You're trying to print the value of str3. What you have in the str3. So you have hello in the str3. So please observe what I had in the str1. I have hello. So that is what you will be trying to print here. In the next statement, so you have strcat. What is that you have? What is the meaning of it? So string concatenate. So what, what is the string concatenate meaning? So str1 comma str2. So I have both the string. I need to add both the string. So fine. After performing strcat, that is string concatenation. So what will be my output? Say for example, hello and hello world all right this will be my output that's what you need to remember so this is my output after performing the string concatenation that's what i'm trying to print here that's what i'm trying to print here so fine after that so please observe what is that i have here string length so this function will return some value so i need to store that value right so for that so whatever the value that this function is returning okay the length of the string one that is getting stored in this variable this variable is of what type? This variable is of type integer because your length will be in the form of integer data type. That's why. So fine. After that, I'm just trying to print it. So I'm done with this program. So hope you understood the basic concepts of strings. So this is very, very important. I want all of you to please go through once again. So if you are done with this, I think you are done with the most of the topics in strings. So by saying this, let me wind up the session with all of you. So guys, the next topic is all about functions. Keep waiting for me. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.